Hello, welcome to Evans Gardening on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to regrow um, cut supermarket mint. I hope you enjoy this video. So, this bag only cost me 50 pence, which is really great because there's lots of um, mint in the pack. And now, when you're choosing the pack of mint, always get the one that's got the longest date on there because that means that it's going to be a lot more fresher. Um, don't get shriveled up stuff because it's most likely that that won't um, root. So I'm just going to be showing you two different types of cuttings. So this one can't be um, rooted because there's no um, nodes. But this one can because there's um, two leaves. Um, and I'll show you how to turn them into nodes in a minute. But you need to look for ones that look like this in the pack. So I sorted them into two piles. Um, and now here's what to do. So you need to um, cut off um, the leaves using a sterilised knife. Um, make sure just to remove any like um, of the stem, any like bits of the leaves that are on the stem because that could rot. Um, and then once you've done that, um, there you've got your cutting. As you can see that knobbly bit is a node and now nodes are where leaves grow out of and where roots grow out of. Next you're going to want to get a bottle, cut a big hole in the lid, then fill the water bottle um, to the rim with um, some cool water, then screw the lid back on and then put your cuttings in the water. Now the lid um, stops the cuttings from falling straight through. And um, because if the leaves go in the water, they'll start to like go all um, rotten and they won't root. Um, so these should root in about a week. Um, so I'll put some updates at the end of the video. So I've got mine at the bottom shelf of my greenhouse, but make sure that they're not in full sun. So here are some ideas of what to do with the spare leaves. So you can cut them up and add them to drinks. Or you can make a natural repellent so put some leaves into an old coffee jar and then um, pour some hot water in the jar so you could use um, hot water from the kettle or you can just use it from the tap I just used it from the tap um, they both work well and then um, leave the mint leaves in the jar of water for at least one week then pour it on the garden now the scent of this and um, mixture will repel mosquitoes flies aphids and also rodents Rodents. And also, if you see aphids on your plants, put the mixture into a spray bottle and use it as a natural spray pesticide. Here are some benefits of growing mint. So in 2020, I had a little hedgehog visiting the garden um, and I was giving it some food. So to stop attracting rats for the food, I had the mint plant and rats hate the smell of mint and they won't come in the garden because of the mint, um, but hedgehogs don't mind it at all. So that's how I stopped, the, stopped any rodents coming for the food. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed this little story. So this cutting update is after one week. Um, there's a little root, um, but this is the only one that's rooted. Um, so hopefully next week there'll be some more roots. So this is two weeks later. As you can see, they've all successfully rooted. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.